What is up guys, it's Robert of Movies with me and welcome to the first movie review of 2018. That is a movie that came out in 2018. Insidious The Last Key. Hoo hoo. Yay. Now this movie was directed by Adam Robitaille and it stars Lynn Shay and a lot more other people. Now I have never seen an Insidious movie. Now you may be like, but, but wait a minute. But how are you going to watch the fourth one? Well, that's because it came bef it's actually a prequel. It came before one and two, apparently. So, whatever, fuck it. I watched it, and uh, especially horror movies. I mean, come on, this ain't a story franchise. Let's be for real here, people. And it, I mean, I didn't like it, to be honest. <laughs> now, there won't be any spoilers in this movie review. Basically, this movie starts out with young Elise, and she finally, well, finally, oh, first time gets ever, like, possessed, and she actually has the ability to see dead people i guess demons you know and so that's cool all right sure you got ability to do that all right and so basically they show her struggles with her family and then i was like dude i'm really digging this this is really fucking good and all of a sudden they cut to when modern day today where she is an elderly woman and you're like all right all right fine we're not we're not we're not seeing the young kids we're not seeing the young kids be all possession shit all right we're not seeing that all right fine fine let's check it out what what, what, what do you got Guys, I'm uh, I'm sorry. Maybe you like this character. I could not get into this character, Elise. I didn't. And I couldn't get in. She was like the best out of all the other characters, Elise. But at the same time, they had these other two guys that were like her sidekicks that were trying to be like the uh, comedians in a way. These two guys uh, were basically the only other people you would see in the movie aside from later on in the movie. But these people were not interesting at all. And not only were they not interesting, they were not funny because they were trying to be comedians and they weren't funny. So the jokes did not hit for me because it tries to too hard to try to be funny. And it does a lot of forced humor that just does not fucking work. Not at all. And the whole thing is that the story, while maybe could be interesting, to me just was not interesting because I couldn't get into uh, the characters. Elise and the brother and then the brother's daughters. It's like... I'm good. I couldn't get into this whole family story that makes you matter for what happens later on with the scares and the demons. I couldn't get into that. It just, it did not work for me. And I say this all the time when I make a movie review about horror movies. I don't get scared by horror movies. I don't jump. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's not true. I'll, actually, in this one part, I didn't go like that. But like, I don't, I don't get like scared. I'm like, oh my God. Like, I'm just not that kind of guy. So if you're thinking about that, Maybe you'll get into that if you're really into if you're seeing a horror movie just for the fact to be scared, you might get that from this movie. Maybe I guess I just I'm not your guy for that. I'm the guy who likes to look at these movies as movies and and really try to see how are the characters relating to this horror film stuff. The greatest one of my favorite horror movies came out last year with it. It I think is such a great horror movie and also annabelle creation both great horror movies that worked because the characters worked because you cared about the characters it helped feeling when they were you know struggling with the clown or struggling with uh, the demon child and annabelle this when the when elise is struggling with these demons i don't care for it because i don't care for her and the actual like you know main enemy the main demon they didn't look bad. I actually like the, the design and stuff. What I do like about this movie is I do like the directing and I do like the actual cinematography. It's not, it's actually pretty well directed. And the fact that there's no like, you know, over-reliance on, on like, yeah, it does the over-reliance on like uh, loud noise stuff, but it's not over-reliance on like, oh, blood gore, oh, it's, ah, it's so scary. No, it actually does work in terms of its horror elements. And I do like that. But other than that, I really didn't care for this movie at all, really. Uh, you know, there are some parts that you're like, all right, this ain't bad. But for the most part, overall, I'm going to give Insidious The Last Key a 4.5 out of 10. I thought it was bad. I didn't like it. And I didn't want to go into this, my first 2018 movie, hoping it was bad. Even though I kind of thought it might be, it did end up being bad. And, you know, it actually, I guess, is a little bit better. I thought it'd be awful. It was just bad. 
So who would have thought that? <laughs> but yeah, guys, did you see Insidious The Last Key? Did you like it? Did you not like it? And if you've seen the other Insidiouses, let me know. Did you think it was better than the other ones? Or did you think, nah, it's actually worse? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.